Hey, it's Mason Poole with Grid Money. If you're back with us this week, it's likely that you had a successful week seven when it came to betting the NFL. We certainly did. A lot of the people that I'm hearing back from that also chose wisely and some good bets and uh, just knocked it out of the water. So it was a good week for the better. And the house didn't win this week, so way to go, guys. Good team effort there. Looking forward to week eight as well. Um, it's going to be a short episode. I got three bets for you this week, but I really like them. These are good, solid bets, and I'm looking forward to what they're going to turn into this week. Let's jump right in. going to go straight to what I see as a great example of an emotional bet. And we talk about this now and then, but here's a good example. Emotional bet is something that is not based in the facts. It's more like a desire that it's going to go a certain way. I try not to bet on my team, which is the Broncos. My lines tend to be emotionally motivated when it comes to handicapping the Broncos. So I try my best not to bet on the Broncos unless i am convinced myself that I've eliminated all opinion out of it and I'm just using the facts to base my decision off of. When I handicapped the games for Week 8, I came to the Eagles-Bills game, and I I put the Bills winning by one point, which is also exactly what Vegas came out with. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that this is a perfect emotional bet. Eagles are former Super Bowl champs. They got Carson Wentz, who's supposed to be great. The Bills are a rebuilding team, got a second-year quarterback, we're just used to the Bills just not being in the forefront of the conversation over the past five, six years, or longer even. So Vegas puts the Lions at about even. One point difference. That means they don't really know. It could go either way. The money line is pretty much even odds bets, or even, even odds payouts. But all of that is factors that have taken place over the last several years. It's been two years since the Eagles won the Super Bowl, and they've gone downhill since then. For me, this is all easier to do for week one of the NFL, and then it gets harder to figure out as we get into the middle of the season. But we're in week eight. These teams have established the track record of how they're going to be this season and what kind of teams they are. The Bills are nearly undefeated in spite of the Patriots who they lost to. They're solid looking on both sides of the ball, and Josh Allen is commanding that team forward into a great winning season. The Eagles, on the other hand, though we want them to be the great team and we think they should be the great team that they that we expect them to be, have shown a gradual decline in their abilities. They've had some great games, like two great games this year, and two other games where they beat bad teams but something's wrong in Philadelphia and we may th- and me and no matter how much we want to tell ourselves that oh they're just going through a slump if you you have to look at the facts they're going downhill bills are going uphill it's your emotions that tell you that this game is going to be close the facts are pointing in the other direction that the bills are going to soundly beat the eagles And it's going to be by a lot more than one point. Now, I don't know what the result of this game is going to be. I don't know what the result of any of the bets that I make are going to be or any of the results of any of the games. But this is a good bet. Because when you take the emotion out of it, the facts are clearly pointing you to a mismatch. And a mismatch that isn't accounted for in the Vegas lines. So that's favorite bet number one. Bills to cover the spread against the Eagles. Disappointing as it may be for some of us. Next, real quick, we got a game in Chicago where the Chargers are playing the Bears. Again, Chargers are a great team. They've lost the last couple games, which I believe is influencing this line a little bit. But when you really compare them, the Chargers have the Bears beaten on all fronts. And I'm going to take the money line bet for the Chargers beat the Bears this week in Chicago. Not only is Trubisky injured, he's not playing to the level that we 
have come to expect out of him. And there's no reason to expect that that's going to change this week. We have a consistent L.A. team coming up to play them. And there's no reason to believe why the Bears should have the edge over the Chargers in this week. So the payout is great on the money line, which is why I'm taking the money line rather than the spread. You can take the spread if you want a little bit of cushion. But I'm taking the Chargers to get the upset in Chicago. And lastly, we got maybe one of my favorite of the favorite bets that we've had this year even. Packers are playing in Arrowhead Stadium against the Chiefs, which would have been a great game, and I was looking forward to it to see Rodgers match up against Mahomes. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I don't know if that would have been a good betting line to get in on, but now it is because the Chiefs are putting in a guy named Matthew Moore, whom we have no reason to believe that is going to keep the Chiefs afloat against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, who are dominating on defense and offense. Yet the Chiefs are only scheduled to lose by less than one score. I've got the Packers winning by at least 12 points. Uh, It's going to be not as good of a game as we were hoping for, but it's now a good betting opportunity for those want, who want to get in on the action. Expect expect the Chiefs to put up a fight, but it's not going to be pretty. And the Packers are going to crush them, or else they're not the Packers that they've shown us that they are in this season so far. So Packers to win minus the points. At this point, it's five points. So best bet of the week in my book. We also have Chargers and a money line bet to beat the Bears. And the Bills to cover the spread against the Eagles. Those are our favorite bets of the week. Thanks for checking us out, guys. Make sure you go to knowtheodds.net. We've got all the tips that you need and getting started on sports betting, controlling your bankroll, making sure that even if you're not making the right kind of bets, you're keeping good control of your money. And then check out the Fantasy Rankings page on there. Check out our best deals of the week when it comes to Daily Fantasy as well as our rankings for who you want to start and sit on your fantasy teams this week. Looking forward to enjoying Week 8 with you guys. We'll see you next week for Week 9. Take care.